Hey there, welcome to another episode of Level Up Wednesday. My name is Jonathan Laudermilk, owner of Smart Shark, and I put together these videos each and every week for you to help you grow your fitness business, whether it's in marketing, lead generation, sales, and now with 2020, we're going to throw in a little bit of mindset for you so you can really go out there and dominate in 2020. So if you didn't check out last week's episode where I went over gratitude, make sure you go check that out because everything that I'm going to be sharing with you moving for the rest of this year is going to be built upon that idea of gratitude determines your altitude. So make sure you go back and you peek that video. Now, what I want to share with you this week is really something that I've just kind of observed over the last year of, you know, talking to fit pros literally all around the world from the UK to Australia to Germany um, to Ireland, obviously the US, that's where we're at in Dallas, Texas, woohoo, USA, America. Um, so as I've wa watched these fit pros in, I've had these conversations with them. One of the biggest challenges I see that they go through is consistency, right? And in consistency, I'm going to really just talk about the online marketing portion, right? We're not gonna talk about all the other areas, but in terms of marketing, you know, I see that a lot of personal trainers and fit pros have a lot of problems, you know, being consistent with how often they post online. Also, what they post, right? You know, they may go be good for a week or two, and then all of a sudden they dive off, they don't post for two or three weeks. Or someone starts a podcast, they're good for about a couple weeks or a month, and then all of a sudden, they stop doing the podcast. Same with videos, same with literally any piece of content. And I wanted to make this video with you to share something really important that I'm a personal testament to that has had a huge impact in my business and is having a huge impact in our clients' businesses. And that one thing is this, is in order to blow up, you gotta first show up, right? If you're not able to show up consistently, then how does your potential clients know they can trust you to do what you say you're going to do? Because at the end of the day, how you do one thing is how you do everything. If you're sporadic in your social media posting or you start something and you stop and you start something and then you stop, then how do your clients know they can count on you to walk side by side with them for the next 30, 60, 90 days or six months or a year? In order to build trust with people, you got to first show that I can do something consistently and you can count on me for this one thing, right? So I want to share with you a couple tips to help you stay consistent. Now, as we go through this, once again, I'm not going to get into the technical. I've got a whole other side where I have training, where I walk you through all the technical side of how to automate this consistency. But what I want to talk to you more so is about the mindset behind it, right? Because once again, how you do one thing is how you do everything. And when you're thinking about like what you want to start promoting or marketing or building, right? This could be from a fitness program. This could be like, hey, I'm going to do videos. I'm going to do a podcast. I'm going to do blogs. Or maybe you're like, I'm just going to post like consistently every day. Whatever you decide to do, you need to make sure that you're doing worst case scenario, right? It's kind of like a fitness client that comes up to you and you're like, hey, Mrs. Jones, on a scale of one to 10, how ready are you ready to make this happen? She's like, I have 10, I'm a 20, Jonathan. I'm ready to go crush this goal, cool. How many days a week are you gonna plan on working out? They're like twice a day, all day, every day. I'm gonna make it happen. Well, you and I both know that Mrs. Jones damn sure ain't coming in two days every single day. Mrs. Jones may do that for a week or two, she's gonna fall off and then it's probably gonna be around two or three times a week, right? Let's keep it real. So that's the worst case. So the same for you, you need to figure out what is the worst case commitment. And when you make that commitment, it needs to be for life. It doesn't, it, it can't work for you if you're gonna date the strategy, like date it when it works and leave it when it doesn't. You've gotta put a ring on that thing and marry it and commit and run after it. So if you're gonna do videos, Man, an easy worst case is like once a week. If you're gonna do a blog, worst case, once a week, right? If you're gonna do a podcast, cool, maybe it's once a week, shoot, you may even do every other week with a podcast. Whatever you're doing, you just wanna build consistency with it. 
Now, there's a couple different ways you can go through and building that stuff out. Once again, I've got training where I walk you through the technical side of all this stuff. But before you go into the skill, you got to develop the will, right? And that's that commitment. You're going to marry that decision and move forward with it, right? Now, the next thing outside of like the commitment aspect you've got to think about, about the consistency part, is where are you spending your time? right and this is where you've got to make sure that you're going deep versus wide and this is why i see a lot of other people make mistakes they're on every social media channel they're on linkedin instagram facebook google plus pinterest <laughs> god knows all the other ones thumbtack right they're on all these different platforms and then they're going well jonathan i don't have enough time to post the amount of times i need to or i don't have time to do a video i don't have time to do a blog well no shit, you're on five different social media platforms. I wouldn't have time to do that, right? If you're gonna go that wide, you need to have an actual professional social media person on your team that's managing those different sides of your business. Cause I'll tell you what, all the people that you see who are blowing up, they ain't going around to every single outlet and doing all those posts. It's impossible to do that. Now they may slip in a couple of originals along the way, but they've got a team in place. So here's what you got to do versus the whole go deep versus going wide is pick your platform that you want to go all in on, right? Pick Instagram if that's where you think your market's at and that's where you want to go into. Pick Facebook if that's the case. If you're working with business professionals or you're working with like corporate wellness type programs, Go LinkedIn. Whatever you do, you got to go all in. And what will happen is as you go all in, you actually start getting momentum. You start actually getting an audience. You actually start getting leads. And when you start actually getting clients, holy shit, I bet you you won't have a problem being consistent after that. It's the same as Mr. Jones or Mrs. Jones when she finally loses that 10 or 15 pounds. She goes, holy shit, this actually works. Well, I bet you're willing to come in an extra day this week. Let's make it four this week. It's the same thing with your business, but you got to go consistent and you got to go deep and make sure that you're maximizing the time that you have within that platform, build the momentum with it. And once you have that going, you already know the formula. You know this works. I do X post. I do this type of content. I do this consistently. And now you can scale and move over to Instagram, LinkedIn, whatever else you want to move to, but make sure that you, fit, you go with the commitment, you marry your decision, and you go deep with that commitment on the platform that's gonna actually help you get the movement that you're wanting to accomplish. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like, make sure you share this with other Fit Pro brothers and sisters out there, send it to them in an email, go ahead and text it to them, tag them on Facebook, whatever's gonna get this in their ear so they can start changing more lives. And if you'd like to see more of the technical training where I teach you how to automate, 90% of this stuff, and then you just have to manage it, click the link below. I've got tons of free training on this. I also have a whole community of other fit pros on the same mission going out there hustling in 2020 to make a difference this year. So make sure you click the link, sign up. I'll see you there on the other side. And once again, thank you for coming and checking out Level Up Wednesday. I'll see you next week where I'm going to hit you with just a little bit more mindset. Take care now.